I'm constantly watching movies year round for the festival, sometimes for the monthly screenings, just to kind of get a, um, an idea of what's been happening over the past year from when our festival ends to the following year. Well, I figured out that I watch, this is counting short films, probably about 600 films a year. So, and that's not all for the festival, that's, you know, for my own personal, you know, pleasure. I've just been, I've been doing this for 10 years, so I kind of have it down to a science. So you figure you watch two, three, four shorts a day, and then you watch maybe a feature or two um, every night. So usually when I get home from work in the gym, the first thing I do is I'll pop in a screener or two. So by the time that the sc I finish watching the screeners, it's only eight o'clock so I can still have a life. Obviously I enjoy film, and um, I like to see stuff that's, uh, that, you know, that's, that's, that's coming up that everybody hasn't seen yet, so I can kind of make a determination whether it's something that we want to include um, at the festival. Film has been around for 15 years, in one form or another, so, I'm constantly amazed that, you know, you go to a, a GSDBA function or you go to someone's party or you're just out and about at other film festivals and you bring up film out and you just start talking about it. And there are a lot of people who still don't, you know, even know that, that there's an LGBT film festival in San Diego and they're, and they're LGBT themselves. You're supporting art in San Diego by LGBT filmmakers. You know, a lot of these films don't get screened anywhere besides film festivals, and you know, m more than likely they go directly to DVD if they go onto DVD at all, if they don't get distribution. So it's the one time to see a film, something new, something interesting, something original, that you can experience in the theater with an audience collectively and, and just enjoy it. It's art.